put things back into perspective and sort of reconfigure life, if you will. And what I mean by that is that I enjoy to, you know, free myself from the labels that others have created. So if you call people who are it's negative, you know, if you if you put any types of labels on us, I like to actually reverse it, but I gotta be careful because it seems that it's easy for somebody to call us restless, but if we refer to that person as kind of the opposite, then it's considered offensive, right? Or you think too much, okay? What's the opposite of that? So the other thing I want to talk about is when, you know, apparently A negatives are high in OCD. Um, I consider the general public to be very inefficient. Everywhere I go in life, I see inefficiency. And it absolutely drives me insane because whatever job I ever had, I felt like the things that I needed to kill eight hours with, hours with I could have accomplished the core essence in an hour and a half just with high concentration. And it seems that generally speaking people are low energy, most people, you know, very low energy and they sort of drag things out and da da da. But for me it's like I do something or I don't do anything. And I can do either one very well. Or lose myself in my own things and just research stuff I'm interested in. I can do that forever. I can lose myself completely. But when it's time to do and I have to do something, I'm extremely focused. And the one thing that always bothers me is the inefficiency, the socially accepted inefficiency of others. And that it's not only that a lot of people are not the brightest lights, but they actually play games and act busy. They actually stall in addition to not being that great at what they do to begin with. So, if somebody says, oh, you're, so, you're obsessive, you're really obsessive, man. Um, I'm thinking, no, you know what? It's, everything is just designed for a mediocre crowd just to kind of make it through, don't you think? It's like, in a perfect world, I would be done first and then you would leave me the hell alone. But it's not like that. That's actually when you get attacked by people, when people give you extra workload, they expect, you know, so it's everything in life is like a game. Everything, everything, you know, and it's been accepted. So when, you know, you see the media or whenever, whenever there's, it's, you know, you're being played, they're being played, it's kind of like an accepted thing, expected as well. Like, well, it's just how life is. They're playing me and I play them. And everything is like that. And to me, I realize just how much energy is wasted and how inefficient life in general is. I mean, it drives me absolutely, you know, it, 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 I know I'm not the only one thinking that. I know that many of you feel the same way. Uh, many of you have told me about how, you know, the different people react differently. Some of you are just like, Ah, oh, hate it, da, 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 but I'm like, shh, be cool, man. Just find a way. Don't expect, you know, that if, if there's one thing I've learned, don't expect from people what they can't offer you. Unless you put pressure, unless you have leverage, and then all you have to do is just put the pressure, apply the pressure, keep on applying it, because otherwise nothing will get done. So, yeah, it seems to be easy to point at us and look at us as different but I see the general public is different from me and the few who are like me so 
the new questions or the new strings that come in uh, are RH negative people healthier? I think we are actually. That's a crazy thing. That's a contrast to my study, and this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, that actually we make ourselves unhealthy, unhealthier. We make ourselves unhealthier by not creating a life around us that benefits us. We're going with the flow that everybody's going with, many of us. And we react strongly to it. Uh, everything that's bad for people, we react worse towards. And it can be a blessing if you listen to your intuition, if you listen to your body, if you listen to the warning signs. If you ignore these warning signs, it can be disastrous. And I've told you guys my thoughts on sunscreen lotion and shampoos and a lot of these things. Honestly, people, I, you know, to this day, I, I never use, I don't use shampoo. I just don't. I just don't. I, I, I just don't. I'm sure there is a brand that's somewhere that's really good or doesn't cause me to react, but no, I cut my hair short and I use soap and hot water. And yeah, people say, oh, you don't do that. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to. You got it from your hair shop. Really? Since when, man? And since when do you use toilet paper? Since when do you have to use toilet paper? It wasn't really on, on the market until a hundred years ago, right? All of a sudden, like some company had the idea of what would we do with the uh, leftover wood, or the paper, and let's make a, let's find an easy way to benefit, to profit, you know, and explain to people that using soap and water to really clean yourself is not as great as just wiping your insane, insane. No, I don't use toilet paper, period. It's absolutely, this. and the insanity that people fight in a supermarket over it. And yes, because I'm clean. If I don't have my spray, I will just take a shower. You know what I mean? I want to be clean. I want to feel clean, not just look clean. And then uh, I don't like deodorant either, but yeah, I use it at times. I'd use it or lemon. That's what I learned in Costa Rica. Just use lemon. That's actually not bad. Um, I don't like to appear. I like to be. You know, I don't like to appear smart. I actually like to read up on things and fill in the holes, the gaps, the knowledge gaps that all of us have. You know what I mean? I like to fill them in. I don't like to stand in front of you or anybody and, and make up some BS and, and, and people say, oh, this dude's really, but then what? You know, then I have impressed them, but where, you know, where, where else do I, how do I elevate myself to a level where I'm comfortable? And okay, the other one is arch negative blood type, very, very generic, generic, but good. People want to know about the arch negative blood type. That's what I'm happy about when those people hit me because that means they are usually new to the subject matter and they find me first. And that means they are not going to get sidetracked easily after that when some moron tries to explain, <laughs> we might be from aliens, man. <laughs> You're special. Yeah, we are, we are special, but if you make yourself not special by feeling the need to make up something to make yourself feel special, then you're sort of defeating the purpose. And when you do it in public, you do it for everyone. Do Irish native people live longer? Well, yes, we can. We can not only that, but be on a similar energy level as we are at the age of 20. And I said it before, many of us look, when I was 17, I looked like I was 25. And when I was 40, I looked like I was 25, which is really, really weird. But that's, you know, yeah, we can, we can. 
think about it like this, you know, you look at all of the things that impact us negative, all of the things that can take our good health away. Every single day, we are, we are, our body is fighting off, working overtime to keep us alive, despite the pollutions, despite the uh, toxins in our food, despite unhealthy habits from all our body. Imagine, we accumulate these toxins. I've told you guys before, our body is fighting hard to rid ourselves of these toxins. Very hard. Our bodies are working overtime and struggling. Toxins we don't get rid of as easily as RH positive people do. So we need to at least acknowledge that. You know what I mean? So if you want to have a drinking competition like Oliver Reed did before he died, untimely, you know, think about it like this. No, don't do it. You are not, you may not be the right person to do that. You may have a, a handicap when it comes to that. And your body may tell you, game over, baby. Game over. This is not what I made you, this is not, you know, you're, I'm done, I'm done. I've been fighting my whole life, but now you're so confident you actually go against me. No dice, man. RH negative, yeah, good. Another keyword that helps. Jewish blood type. Always happy about that one. Again, the ancient Hebrews, we don't really know the RH factor there, and that's a big problem. And when you look at Jewish populations, I haven't seen that other than the Karaites, you know, with the high percentages, and I believe also some Sephardic tribes, from what I recall. Um, usually very much the Jewish blood types resemble are similar to, you know, wherever their ancestors lived, be it in Poland or Ukraine or Spain or Germany or something, you know what I mean? Nothing stood out so far and surprisingly, I mean, uh, according to Maga, is uh, to 10% in Israel? Well, that's only, I would love to see another study on that, but yeah, it sounds, you know, it doesn't seem to be that, well, the origin, you know, again, MTDNAK is the original Jewish maternal line, which was present in one quarter of the original Basque people, the Proto-Basques. So there is a connection. So who knows? I'm still looking into this. But we need more studies. Um, where did the arch-negative blood come from? It didn't really come from area, anywhere. It's, uh, the question could, should be, how did arch-negative people lose the D antigen? How did the D gene get deleted? And that's really what it is. I mean, that's what uh, I've shown the studies, I've shown all of the... It, apparently, people love to ignore that, and I realized I tried that before, somewhere where I actually posted the article by Flegel. Uh, the study, an old study, and, you know, What's sad, what, what's terrible to me is not that some people will say, well, you can't just say that, I'm like, I'm not saying anything, this is a study. And, but, the person, but then people manage to convince others to ignore it, and people say, yeah, man, let's not read the science stuff, let me watch some UFO videos. Wow, cool, okay. So that's when we always get back to square one. So this is it for today, people. I thank you for watching me. AV negative personality. Hmm. I've have I have. Uh, 
how about Bombay blood personality? What are the personality traits of people with the Bombay blood type? I would love to know that. Or RH no. And is there a difference between people who have the E antigen? Remember the blood donor card I've shown you? C, D and E? Um, I would say it's really important that we look at all of the options here, all the options presented. Um, yeah, this is an, the blood type of the ancient Hebrews. I'm glad that people are reading this because that's a very good study. Was there ever a society which was 100% Irish negative? Okay. Well, I, I guess my article today highlighted some of the studies that I've had published before. And Irish negative tribes yesterday, today, tomorrow. Where are we headed? Extinction? No. I don't see it at all. But when you look at the universal numbers yeah we are going down percentage wise so i was just told it's not it's probably five percent now yeah i believe that because the there are more okay among the population growth that the world is experiencing um it looks like the majority have a, a it's, it's mainly populations with low RH negative percentages are more likely to have a lot of children. You know, China, India. India, on a national level, it is low. Even though there are high RH negative pockets in there. And other Indonesia and uh, some African countries with low percentages. So overall, you know, in, in Europe actually it's going down. So yeah, we are decreasing, but that doesn't mean that <coughs> our blood, that we will see what, you know, geopolitically happens as well. You know, how are things going to change now with the situation we are in? Seven things I've learned interacting with arch negative people. Let me just read what you guys are reading right now. And that's just today. You know, I want to stay sort of in touch with what's actually of interest. We are so used to adjusting to feeling out of place that it is hard to let go and just be. That's number one. Seven things that Irish negative people have learned, that I've learned while interacting with Irish negative people. We have to learn that other Irish negatives are as sensitive as we are. That's number two. Yes, absolutely, because we are used to um, people not getting us, even when we are sometimes venting or when we are being rude or having a bad day that people don't really feel our essence, you know, but then all of a sudden you meet somebody who's like you and you realize, wow, I really affected this person. That's, I think, an important thing we all have to learn now that we get to know each other as arch negatives, that we really don't punish each other for whatever we have experienced negatively in the world that we grew up in. Number three is arch negative people can change their attitudes quickly depending on their surroundings. Attitudes, feelings, energies, everything. One bad thing can really mess up your day, but one good thing can change everything. It changes your approach that you're gonna have in the next phone call and everything just happens to go your way. Somehow the timing, there is a timing thing happening that we really can't control, but we got to realize it's there and it's powerful, you know, and I'm pretty sure that in the isolation that we all experience right now, 
many of you have actually come to realize looking back oh my god i really missed a chance here i really screwed up there and i really wasted my time with this dude or that job or this or this you know what i mean number four is irish native people are born leaders but terrible followers we don't really try to lead as a matter of fact it's not really something we choose to do but we also want to avoid having idiots above us you know what i mean so you fight to be in a position and then you're cool and of course then you get attacked or if people try to attack you because but in reality you are a great leader because you don't have that power trip you don't enjoy giving pain to others making their lives harder as a matter of fact that's maybe the worst struggle once you're up there that you have to isolate yourself because Everybody coming to you with their problems will overwhelm you. People need to help each other. They cannot just go to the easiest target, meaning the empath, and unload everybody, unload on him because they don't help each other. And the moment that they have the help they need, they forget everybody else, you know? Unless you're like Oprah who says, I had to learn empathy. What she means is she had to learn sympathy. She learned sympathy. Empathy you cannot learn. You can also not unlearn it. But empathy can also turn into sociopathy. You know? Well, they say a dark empath is in between, but I'm not so sure about that. I think that's a pretty uh, quick step from being you know, like where you give up on humanity to the point where you don't have any more, um, you don't see any more love anywhere. I don't know. I don't know. It's for entertainment purposes only. I don't know anything. But we are born to lead. We always wind up in leadership positions, by the way. Even when we don't try. We actually often don't try. Somebody recognizes us and sees us what we do without knowing that we are being observed. We just have a habit of just, hey, it's an energy thing, just a pattern. Hey, this is how I'm gonna do my job every day. I'm gonna do it like this, I'm gonna do, no, I'm not creating too much work, extra work for myself, but I am, you know, being sort of like um, proactive. Intuition helps in that. Everything I ever did, whether I was qualified or unqualified, intuition helped me slide right through it people and that's really it number five is Irish negative people are not quick to judge yes because we think too much remember when somebody says you think too much however Carl Jung was right about one thing thinking is difficult that's why people judge and the German word is more closely closer to condemn okay judge not like Wisdom, like I write, you know, not, not like um, King Solomon, but judge in terms of condemning quickly, 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 hang him very quickly, you know what I mean? I asked you, what's the opposite of you don't think, you think too much, you don't think enough, and that's why you judge. But we think too much, remember? Number six, Irish Native people won't tell you everything that they feel. Yeah, we start to, not everything, but we begin to tell each other, I think, in time. I think that need is just there. And when you realize that there is not, there is something in most people where you want to tell them something, but you realize, no, not a good idea, terrible idea, terrible, not, not gonna be you know, but then every once in a while you meet somebody, you say something, you say, yeah, it's a conversation. Well, guess what happened to me? Yeah, yeah, I had to say, I, you realize, wow, you're revealing so much of you, but the other person's doing the same thing. And next thing you know, it's like you realize, wow, I kind of like how this person handled it. I can learn something from that. And you realize that Hey, this dude, this is a tough dude. This is a popular guy. He's a 
and he, you know, so it's not like we are wussies. Arch negative men have it very hard in terms of, in general, I mean, every study shows mental health issues are high in arch negative men. Um, no, most of us, I, I think, I guess, don't have any. I mean, I don't know what it's. Man, the world's getting crazier and crazier, but I think, you know, but I'm saying that percentage-wise, of course, I don't need to explain this to you guys. I, I, was, I always forget that I don't have to, you know, I have to be so, um, you know, you know what I mean. That's the future, by the way, transmitting thoughts without words. It'll happen. Trust me. And I hate the term AI because it's already, but also not simulated intelligence and not even intelligence, simulated pattern, you know, but you need the title that makes people feel sort of drawn to the mystery. Right, it's all about selling the mystery. Number seven, Irish native people have dreams and visions and it's energy speaking to you. You're communicating with energy. You're passing energy on to others. It's getting passed on to you and your dreams. You see yourself, you see your feelings. You experience other people. You experience something that oftentimes you don't experience because of how the world is operating and the disconnect we have from ourselves and often the people that we would greatly benefit from meeting and spending time with but we never get to meet simply because of the way that the social structure of life works against our nature. I'm Mike the Man and I'll see you next time.